character. Kind of plays the same as Roy, but has Ike's up B. But yep. is a lot faster than Roy when it comes to being in the air. Yeah, so. and uh, he has an entire sort of hitbox. Yeah. Whereas Roy so. has half a sort of hitbox, but it's not the sword. Strange option, just running up and countering. That's like something I do. <laughs> you gotta get in his head. Yeah, that's true. So. Now, I've played against his Krom a couple times, and it's a pretty good Krom. Yeah. I will say, like, he, he can send you on combo strings, and he knows how to read, uh, he knows how to read people. And just, like, know what their options are at all times. So, uh, yeah, and a lot of uh, this match is going to be about Ooh. keeping Falco, like, in a disadvantageous situation. Mm -hmm. Like, just sort of keeping the pressure on him and keeping him at a range where he's not being able to do... It's kind of keeping exactly him away from you. But not too, too far, because you don't want him to be in a laser range. So it's about playing in that, like, middle space. Oh, going for the back air. And he will be find... Ooh, oh, does not, not get the, uh, the hit on the oh. way down. Krom apologizing for that stock. You think he's Canadian? Yeah. Okay. Con confirmed. Krom is a Canadian. Okay. Yeah, so dead even game so far. Both players looking pretty hot, but light work right now trying to grow his lead as much as he can. But side B from Ant, putting a little bit of damage there. Up B gonna get punished here with an up tilt and an up air into Ooh. down air. Keeping him on the platform with another up air into the combos. back air there, racking up that damage. One laser not gonna be enough. Goes for the down air, but not gonna find it. Yo, the light work got the melee combos, dude. Now he just needs to throw out shine a lot more. Ooh. But if that's the melee combo, he should oh know that Falco should die there. But you know, the same melee. <laughs> <laughs> got it with the side view spike, punishing the offstage game from Krom. From Krom offstage is very risky. Yeah, Ant whiffing his punish there definitely could have closed out the stock on light work had he not. Oh yeah, and light work gonna try to take what was given to him all the way to the bank here. <laughs> Take those. Oh, no, up being the wrong way. No, trying to... Not punishing the, uh, the side beyond shield. Yeah. Ooh, going for the spike. Yeah, so Ant did a really cool option there. He air dodged around when he was uh, about to hit ledge and then up beat so that, like, he was safe if Lightwork tried to throw out, like, a hitbox on the way down. So. Entering right. the rapid jab with the forward this smash there. This is doable for Ant. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's Krom. He's already got 15 of the percent back. Gonna go for a grab this time instead of another up B. Now, this Getting is where his uh, reactive gameplay has to uh, come in here. Yeah. Oh. The up air, yeah. <laughs> Going on a game two. Oh, not enough drip to beat Falco, though. It might, it might be DI out and then map air dodge. Going on to picks and bans here. Trying to uh, knock out stages where it has those kind of uh, those Ban triplats. No, he on. just, Lilat sucks. Yeah, well, I mean, it's Lilat. Nobody wants to play in there. Except for me, because, you know, I'm that kind of player. But. <laughs> well, it's also like, can't you grab, if you just like short hop side B, like you can grab platform and stage, so. Yep. It's pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, I can grab people like platforms like this, and I'm like phasing through the platform. Yeah. I can still grab you them. You grab everything except maybe a crouching feature. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe still. <laughs> All right, so going to game two here. Ooh, and definitely uh, looking solid in game one. So I'm interested to see how he looks here on his counter pick. Light work though, off to a good start so far. I know tri triplats are very helpful for a character like Falco, who can just like extend their combos. Yeah. But it's also good for Krom because he can uh, up B in a lot more options. Yeah. Like basically the entirety of the stage is an up B zone because he can either oh. retreat to top platform or side platform. And then you might be thinking, yeah, but he can just punish on platform. You at least have a mix up option where you can choose whether or not you're going to fast fall through the platform. So Wow, side B to back air, very nice. Nice uh, light there from light work. Getting those creative combos. Down air. Lightwork is okay. a very smart and technical player. He knows how to use the the characters that he uses. Like, uh, Pressure underneath ooh, nice him. Parry. Going for down tilt, not going to connect. Seems like he's gotten into Ant's head almost. Like he knows what uh, his, uh, his options are and how to react to them accordingly. Like uh, rushing at him there, he uh, shielded and immediately opted for a grab. Ooh. Yeah, Lightwork got a good combo started right now. Up B, there it is. The up B out of shield, almost killing him though. Yeah. The DI. He was on top platform. Up B, there it is. Treating the top platform, not getting a strong hit up there. 
Oh, the roll is not what he was looking for there. Oh, and nice smash going to kill. And down basically a full stock here. Uh oh, oh Ada's jump. No, no it didn't. saved it. <gasps> and he Yo, goes for even. the suicide cheese here. That was actually his best that option was, right yeah, there. Yeah, that was so Because he was at like 130 when he did that. All right, not going to get it on the up smash punish there. Nair's a little bit too far forward with the drift and gets grab. Another grab punish. Not going to connect anything, though. Oh, connects before the up B startup starts. He's living. Yep. Yeah, he's living. Finds the up air from ledge. Keeping it going, but full hops instead of a short hop. So lands on platform. Gives light work a chance to retreat to center. Keeping it going at the Nair. Gets another one. Side B back air like we saw that before. But this not at a percentage where it will kill. This one's a nail biter. Can feel the tension and rising. The F smash. Nice. And with the dash back F smash. Making me feel honored to be watching a Sword Slayer kill a Falco on Yoshi's. Yeah. Getting to game three here. And Josh saying, we'll go back. Hmm. Going back to Yoshi's? Interesting. Look at that purple robot. Hell yeah. <laughs> That's royalty. Mm -hmm. That is the royal color. Do you know why it's a royal color? Uh, it's hard to get. It's it is, exactly. Two, Purple dye was very one. expensive. Thanks, Max Nelson. Nelson. <laughs> I actually knew that before his class, but... Thanks, Max Nelson. <laughs> flex. He's <laughs> <laughs> got to flex my uh, history knowledge. No. Alright, so... Both uh, see uh, Light, we're trying to set up a couple combos here with throws, but an answering with some uppies and uh, anti-aerials of his own. Yeah, not really getting too much yet, but mostly just trying to pick safe options. Now that top platform for a Kroms up B there can make it very safe for him to try out that move in neutral. Uh, yeah, oh man, air dodge almost killing him there. That would have been unfortunate. Finds a grab, goes for uh, down throw up there. Okay, a couple up airs. Side B knocking him on the platform, but light work rolling out of the up air range. Oh, F-Smash, getting smash. that oh. first stock. No! Not yet. Not quite enough rage on Krom there. Good that. DI, of course, coming out of Flightwork to live there. But Try for that reverse aerial Goes rush back, back there. Oh, nice jump to answer for the for the backer there. Finds the down tilt. Goes for the F tilt. Follow up, but doesn't connect. A B. Goes to the top platform. Yeah, Rolls away from the back oh, air, but not backer. the second one. Lightwork ends up actually getting the first stock after and F smash at like 90, not quite killing, but the very nice. I jab to jab. jab to reverse aerial yeah. rush back here. That yeah. was pretty cool. Good platform coverage and often not too fast fall through the platform. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. With the jab clanks with the jab from behind. Some moves, I don't know why some moves clink when they really shouldn't. Like for instance, um, like I believe Chrom jab starts behind him. Just barely. No, I mean like swing, so. Chrom jab can like clink with uh, my forward smash. It's, yeah. it's really strange. <laughs> hmm, we haven't really seen Lightwork try to gimp his recovery very much. Probably after that last stock and the probably after that one stock in the last game, he's probably opting to not try to challenge Chrom off stage. Yeah. And that was probably a good idea. Yeah, and like that kind of makes sense as to why he would run it back, right? Like he was winning and then lost 130% essentially off yeah. of an upbeat mistake. Going for that tech chase with the fourth one there. Same deal as Fox. Ooh. Going for up air, not back air there, and not going to connect. But almost getting the roll read with the up smash, but up smash is not very good. The hitboxes aren't that good. Oh, yo, yeah, let's go. There it is. And finding the upbeat again. And swinging the and game now, into his favor. now Lightwork needs to play very careful. Oh. For, okay, now he can... Go back to regular light work stuff. Now that he doesn't have to worry about getting cheese to the last, last stock. Last stock, last game. But that last stock kill still can get cheese if he does walk too close to the edge. Yeah, if he can get the ledge one, not just the uh, the full SD one though. Ooh, oh, and just a little bit too low. The lasers eventually paying off for light work, taking a two one in a very close way. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. You, you're supposed to get your jump back after grab. It might have you might have tap jumped it and gotten uh, sniped. It's hard to say. That's why I don't play with tap jump. 